Hello guys, Sorin Constantin here. Welcome to our next lecture from uh, from this course. In this lecture we will talk about uh, a tool, an online tool that uh, I like very much and I think it can be very useful for you guys uh, because you can create uh, something uh, something uh, very unique that can uh, can help you boost your exposure. I like this tool very much because you can create infographics and infographics as uh, we have probably talked before or if uh, we haven't are uh, are elements that can go viral and can create a lot of exposure for your business uh, if you if you touch certain topics in your marketplace that uh, that have a lot of interest for for people uh, they can go viral okay obviously if they haven't uh, been uh, touched before these topics if they haven't been touched before or approached before uh, even more will create exposure for uh, for your business so this tool is called PictoChart and you can actually do different uh, different types of presentations images posters reports and infographics with it you can create an account for free you can log in with your Facebook accounts most most of these online platforms and tools that you will see me uh explaining to you and uh, exposing to you in my lectures you will see you can practically connect with facebook i think every single uh, every single tool online you can uh, you can connect with uh, you can create an account automatically with facebook or with other social media accounts and this is no different case okay you you create a free account with your facebook account and after you create your free account this is what you will see in your picto chart okay you can see exactly here how it's called picto chart this is the first page where you select a template okay the infographic format you would like to use for example we select an infographic okay and now we have different templates okay three templates here obviously for example we can select this one because it's the most interesting for us as online entrepreneurs okay how to make money the startup way you can preview the template in the first place to see exactly how it looks like okay and after that you just create the template okay you press the create button and the we we wait for the editor to load now the app it's loaded okay and you can start editing everything in your uh, infographic you have more blocks that you can uh, that you can edit and you can see here exactly how to edit every single block okay and for example let's edit the first one the header so you guys can see you first of all you can select the text you can edit the text obviously as in any app or editor you can select the font okay the size if it will be bold if it will be italic okay uh, the alignment and other stuff like that also a very cool stuff that you can add to to your infographic is the fact that you can add different types of icons for example you have a huge collection of icons here okay you can add different types of shapes and lines as you can see here in this menu in your left side okay you can create you can add different types of photos if you want to and also you can create uh, you can add different types of photo frames okay for example we have these letters here which which look very nice okay and other types of, uh, of photos uh, then we have for example backgrounds we can use different types of backgrounds patterns that we can choose from for example let's have a look at this one okay with the stars it looks very very nice uh, then we have different types of text that we can use okay we also have some text frames here okay and text templates that we can use for example this one okay which looks very nice but I'll, I'll let you guys play with it more so you can see exactly how you can use them but I'm just showing you exactly where you have to go okay what what features do you have at your disposal and so on and then you have other tools like videos maps charts different types of charts okay after you finish creating your infographic the way you like it you just go to the uh, okay it's already saved you just go to the preview button to see exactly how it will look like okay and you just download your graphic okay you can leave a PNG format or JPEG format whatever suits you the, the most okay uh, for example you can download it in uh, this format or a medium format if you want more you have to to go to the pro version which obviously is paid but I think for 
starting out this uh, this version is perfect and now let's kick it off download as png okay and see exactly what we'll get i think this uh, this tool can be very very useful for you guys okay because uh, as i've told you and as i've stated before infographics really go viral in a lot of niches if you will look at top bloggers at what actually at what they actually use okay you will see that a lot of them are using infographics and they uh, they state something they they do a lot of research they state something in those infographics that wasn't approached before by other bloggers or other researchers in their niche and that's how they establish themselves as an authority in, in their niche their infographics get viral their articles get viral they get a lot of exposure for their whole blog not just for that infographic people subscribe to their newsletter uh, start to follow them on social media and that's how practically they get uh, to become an authority and they get very well known in their marketplace let's have a look at how this uh, infographic looks like this is it okay it's very nice uh, as you can see here we can zoom in to see one thing that you will find out in the free version it's that uh, you will have the logo from PictoChart here in the slower part they needed to promote their, their self somehow but uh, this is not inc inconvenient in the beginning if the information is very very well structured and it sends a strong message so guys I hope that uh, you enjoyed the, this lecture about PictoChart. I hope you find it helpful. I hope that this tool will help you in your business in the future and in your social media strategy and to create uh, stunning social media images. I thank you very much for your attention. I know already that uh, you know already that you are awesome and I thank you for that. And uh, I send you my best wishes. I will see you guys in our next lectures. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here.